Hey everyone, it's Kara here from Boho Berry and I am back as promised with a brand new video today. And last week on Friday, I did my plan with me for the month of June and I showed you everything except for my mood tracker. So I was toying around with different ideas for my mood tracker. Last month I did some flowers, as you may have seen which are these right here that I'm do doing in May. And then before that, I had been doing a mood mandala, which is this one right here. So I was toying around with some different ideas and I was thinking about the fact that I have this new stencil from Moxie Dory, which is a compass and protractor stencil. And I was trying to think of different ways that I could use it to create a mood tracker for June. And this is what I came up with. So I'm just gonna show you the concept really quick. And then I thought it would be fun to kind of do a more real time tutorial on how to use this stencil. So the mood tracker itself is pretty simple. I have this mandala drawn in the center and kind of around the outside. That's really just for decoration. The main tracker is actually this part right here. So I have the days of the month going around the first circle, and then I have the phases of the moon around the outside. And I've noticed a lot that the moon phases affect my mood in different ways each month. So I like kind of having that side by side to see more closely how they correlate. And then I've decided to track my mood twice per day. So I'm doing an AM and a PM. So in the morning, I'll color in one square based on whatever my mood is, and then in the evening, I'll do the same. The idea is that by the end of the month, I'll have a good representation of my moods and how they were affected by the moon cycle throughout the month. All right, so now that I've explained that, I'm gonna set my bullet journal aside, and I'm gonna grab just a dot grid notepad. This is a Rhodia uh, number 18 dot pad, spiral bound at the top, and I'm just gonna use the stencil and kind of show you more in real time how it works. All right, so the idea behind this stencil, and I'm hoping that you're able to see it pretty well. Let's see. Let's do this on my desk so that I can show you the parts of the stencil and hopefully you can see it a little bit better. All right, so it has a hole right in the center and then it also has some holes kind of going out in five millimeter increments, which also happens to be the increments for the dot grid on our bullet journal notebooks and other dot grid pages. So these go out in five millimeter increments. And then for the smaller circles, anything smaller than this, you've got circles that you can just place and draw in. And then it also has the degrees and little notches all around the stencil. All right, so I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. And Amy over at Moxie Dory sent a paper clip with this stencil and it makes it really really easy you just unfold the paper clip and stick it in that center dot and that is how you hold everything steady when you're going around in a circle all right so i'm going to show you how i laid out my mood tracker but this stencil has so many uses you could draw out your circles for mandalas anything like that all right so i actually did the largest circle possible so these diagonal marks, I took the widest one, which is out here, and I went all the way around. Okay, so that was my main circle. Then I skipped one and went to the next. So this is basically a 10 millimeter gap in between our circles. All right, so that's where my moon phases are going to go. Then I went in five millimeter increments for my AM and PM sections. I'm gonna do one more. So we have AM and PM. All right, and then I skipped one again. So this is another 10 millimeter difference. There we go. All right, and that's where the days of the month are gonna go. All right, so holding this steady, I'm gonna line, line this up so it's straight and take my 
pencil, if I can find one, here we go. All right, I'm gonna take this pencil and I'm gonna mark the notches. And I'm marking every single notch here, all the way around. All right, so now we have our notches. And now we are simply going to draw our lines. Now I'm actually gonna leave this center, these center two at the top. I'm not gonna draw that first center line. There's only 30 days in June, which is the month we're doing this for. So I'm actually gonna start at this second notch. And you wanna make sure you're going straight through the center and the one that matches on the other side. And we're gonna do that all the way around. And then just remember when you get back to the top, don't draw in this top line, you want that gap there. You're just gonna line everything up and just draw in this bottom line. All right, so we have the structure of our mood tracker for June. Now we are going to add in for the moon phases. I love that this stencil has these little circles. So I just went around oops, and stenciled in these circles for the moon phases. And of course, if you're really good at drawing circles, which I'm not particularly, <laughs> um, you could do this without the stencil too, but it's really handy that it has this here. And then I'm just being really careful in between these circles to actually lift the stencil and move it over and lay it down versus sliding it over on the page especially depending on what pens you're using, that could definitely cause some smearing that you may not want there. All right, so we've got everything laid out. I'm gonna put the stencil aside and I'm gonna put some pencil guides here for my letters. So I know Moon has four letters, so I'm gonna divide this into four, and then I'm gonna put the word June here on the bottom one, so I'm gonna divide that into four as well. Doesn't have to be perfect, just a rough estimate. And then I'm gonna write. Moon. Moon and June, and then I'm gonna write in my AM and PM. Right, and then we're gonna add in the days of the month. All right, and that is it. Um, of course, you can add any decor that you want to your page. I'll show you mine again so that you can see. It's basically identical. I just added a little mandala design here and a little design around the outside. And then you fill in the phases of the moon. So I'm actually gonna copy that from my journal. So that is that. And then you can take an eraser. I'm just gonna use the eraser for my pencil and you can get rid of your guidelines that you drew. And you could try to go through and erase those pencil marks from your little notches, but for the most part, you shouldn't really be able to see them since you drew a line over them. All right, and then feel free to decorate as you choose. All right, y'all, I wanna say thank you so, so much for watching. 
and I have not forgotten, I do have an extra Moxie Dory compass and protractor stencil that Amy kindly sent me to give away an extra one to one of you guys. And this stencil is going to Jessica Wilson. So congrats, Jessica. Keep an eye out on your messages and your YouTube messages. I'll be sending you a message to get your information so I can get this stencil shipped out to you. To everyone who didn't win, don't worry. I'm, I'm planning on doing a ton more giveaways here in the near future. So thanks everyone. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, as always, drop them in the comments section below and I will look forward to seeing you all on Friday. Bye.